G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Golly gosh, G darn shucks, would you look at that? We've actually got some blue sky over the green landscape. Isn't that lovely? The reason it's a green landscape is we've just had 10 days of rain. And the grand total for the 10 days here at my place is 109 millimetres. So I'm sort of as happy as a dog with a belly full of piss and a packet full of lamp posts. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Yesterday, admittedly, I had to do the raining chainsaw dance. And those of you who've been following my movies for a while will be familiar with the raining chainsaw dance. The raining chainsaw dance is the way we turn the rain off. It's like the opposite of a rain dance. What we do for the raining chainsaw dance is you go out there while it's raining, ideally between the showers, which is what happened with this, and you chainsaw wet wood in the rain and you bring the wet wood back in the rain and you stack the wet wood under cover in the rain and you rely on the heat of the already burning fire to dry the firewood which is stacked underneath the ash box of the little miniature pot belly and that's how we stay warm and dry during 10 days of rain, at the end of which we do the raining chainsaw dance, which we did yesterday between the 9.5 millimetres and the 8 millimetres, which precluded the following 7 millimetres. This morning there was a further 12 mils in the gauge. The overall pattern was 3 millimetres, 4.5 millimetres, 4 millimetres, 1 millimetre, 1 millimetre, 23.5 millimetres, 4 millimetres. 4.5, 10 millimetres, 4.5, 4.5, 8 millimetres, and yesterday was the day of the raining chainsaw dance in order to switch off the 10 day 109 millimetre rainfall event. So you can imagine what that's done for my water storage. The cascade drum is full, the drinking water drum is full. And now that when it comes to Chinese inflatable swimming pools, I have what in hillbilly terms is known as an elegant sufficiency. And to possess an elegant sufficiency, one must have a pair and a spare. Right? Your best one, your second best one, and the one that you would be prepared to lend. Well, let's have a look. Here's the pair. And the new, new swimming pool is just about totally full. The old new swimming pool is, well, I'd say half full. Okay, so that's the pair. Where's the spare, do you ask? When we look over here, what do we see? But the old obsolete. Not worth relying on, boy wool. Chinese swimming pool. Not worth relying on because I still haven't found where it's losing about 10 litres of air per day until it gets down to uh, inflated enough to hold water but not, not sort of tight enough to put an ultraviolet cover on. But it too is holding water. Yeah, we have something for the kangaroos to drink out of without any need to bite holes in the pair because now I can lend them a spare. And although we didn't get a whole lot of overground runoff, this is the sort of soil structure that operates on subsurface flow of moisture way to demonstrate this is if we have a look at where this 120 year old box tree was bulldozed so that I could be paid $10 and 
because that's how forestry works on the land holder. They always get ripped off. Down here in the hole left by the root ball, we have actually quite drinkable water if you're prepared to drink water that's got kangaroo shit in it. And it's a foot to 18 inches below the surface of the ground. The water is flowing through the forest. And it's flowing in the direction of all those frogs you can hear chirping over in what I call the top dam. If I shut up, maybe I'll be able to take you over and you can listen to them a bit closer. Don't think you can see them though, because they're hiding in the reeds.
So, there you go. Welcome to a frog's eye view of a rain dance response. I don't know whether I got something right. I don't know whether the British Long Range Rain Dancing Group got something right. Or whether the people in South East Queensland just applied too much volume or got their rhythm wrong or didn't believe it was going to work, couldn't be bothered doing it, or otherwise made a mess of their rain dance. Because in South East Queensland, yeah, they might have got 109 millimetres like I got 109 millimetres, but I got mine over 10 days. In South East Queensland, they got their 109 millimetres last night. Some of them got as much as 200 millimetres. And it strikes me that uh, maybe it's analogous to the way they try to run their economy on their landscape with just-in-time delivery. So instead of a little bit all the time regular, they get all of it in one big dose just before the time limit expires. I don't know, but I, uh, I have a, a deep and abiding suspicion that the biosphere and the weather gods will treat you the same way you treat the biosphere and the weather gods. Works for me. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. For your rain dance to work, the first thing is you have to expect it to work. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao. Even if you think you're the only frog in the pond, you have to speak up. If you don't ask, why would you expect to receive?